going to talk about how we can use cross rhythms to figure out what the least common multiple of two numbers is. Now, so far, we've been dealing with gati, or the inner structure of a beat, namely the number of ways that you can divide one particular beat. Now we're going to be dealing with a continuum of beats, and we're going to be overlaying what I'm calling a surface rhythm on top of the underlying structure. Now, this drum language that I'm talking about, konakol, we've used it thus far to recite the rudimentary divisions. So that's where you get Now these repeat for every beat, but this isn't usually how we play the music. The rhythms that we play often cross the beat and involve other numbers that go against the division of the beat. So, for example, if we have a triplet or a beat divided into three, we won't always be reciting the takita. What we'll be doing is we'll be internalizing the feeling of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we may be reciting something else, which is the actual surface rhythm that we're playing. So I'll give one example, which is saying a phrase of four, or takademi, when you have an underlying structure or feel of three. So again, we'll use the drum syllables, or konakul, to establish the feeling of three, but then we'll depart and express the surface rhythm. So again, the underlying structure is So keep this going in your head. One, two, three, one, two, three. So what happened there? We were still going at the rate of three aksharas, or rhythmic units, per beat. So you could still feel the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. In fact, even as I'm reciting the surface rhythm, you can count along in threes. However, I was expressing a surface rhythm which was in a length of four. And what that does is it overlays beyond one beat and eventually resolves when you get to reciting three of these phrases. Why does that work that way? So again, notice how long it takes for me to repeat this. I was clapping an accent so that you'd be able to see when these two numbers would realign. What's happening is we have four pulses or four beats that are divided into three. And on top of that, we have a surface rhythm of four that needs to be recited three times in order to come back to the beginning and align with the beats again. You can look at the diagram to see what this looks like. The reason why this works is because 12 is the least common multiple of 3 and 4. It also so happens that 3 times 4 is 12. This works in a lot of cases, but it also doesn't work in some cases, and we'll get to that later. But for now, you can see that the phrase of 4 is recited 3 times, and the beat that's divided into 3 is going four pulses before it resolves. Let's look at a few more examples just like this. Again, what we're dealing with now is just a continuum of beats. We're leaving out tala and just looking at beats so that we can figure out how different surface rhythms function against specific divisions of the beat or gatis. So let's take the example of a surface rhythm of three against a division of five. Against 
uh, a beat that is divided as taka takita. So again, the sounds like this. Taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita. Again, like we did with the takita before, what we're going to do is keep the taka takita going in our heads. And you can also count along. But I'm going to recite the surface of three against it, the surface rhythm of three against it. So again, to establish the five. Do you notice where it aligns? I'll now accent it for you. How many times am I saying takita? And how many beats of the five divisions does it take before the cycle loops again? Like the previous example, the numbers are opposite. So the pulses or beats that are divided into five, there's three of them. And the surface rhythm of three repeats five times before the two rhythms resolve. Again, here the least common multiple of three and five leads us to how these two cycles resolve against each other. So three times five is 15 aksharas. So if I'm reciting three, I need five of the surface rhythm of three in order to resolve, and I need three of the beats divided into five in order to resolve, and both come out to 15 aksharas. Now another example is also in five, but now we're dealing with a surface rhythm that's longer than the five. Let's deal with seven. So again, we'll go back to the five and keep that going in your bodies. So that's going to be the way that you feel this. And I'm going to recite the seven over this. So you can see that a similar thing happened there, but it took a lot longer to resolve. This is because 7 is a larger number than 5. So you needed to take 7 beats that were divided into 5 in order for these two to resolve. And you had to say the phrase of 7 5 times. Now 7 times 5 is 35. 35 is also the least common multiple of 7 and 5. And now we'll look at one final example, just so that you really understand that this can work with any two numbers. So let's take three again as our underlying structure. So this is Again, keep this going. One, two, three, one, two, three. So when I overlay a 7 or in the pulse or beat of 3, it takes 7 beats to resolve, or I have to say the surface rhythm of 7 3 times. And again, 7 times 3 is 21, and 21 is the least common multiple of 7 and 3. So we just dealt with a continuum of beats in one particular gati, or one particular set of subdivisions. Now let's return to the idea of a tala. Tala has to be combined with gati in order to make sense. So let's take an example where the product of the two numbers isn't the least common multiple. 
but you actually have to find what the least common multiple is. So let's take the example of a surface rhythm of eight in Kanda Chapatala. Do you remember how many aksharas are in Kanda Chapatala in the division of four? Again, Kanda Chapa has two and a half beats, and if each beat is divided into four, we end up with two and a half times four, which is ten. So what we're dealing with is a surface rhythm of eight cycling against a cycle of ten. So again, this is how Kanda Chapa looks. Now, instead of using two fours to make eight, I'm going to make a more interesting rhythm. Let's say, tam tatake jonu. So this is, tam tatake jonu. Tam tatake jonu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is closer to what you'll actually hear musically because we're not always just dealing with plain numbers. We're usually dealing with a phrase that has a particular contour, or that has accent points, or that has rests. So this is a great example of a musical phrase. Tam, tatake jonu. So again, and the way that we recite the underlying structure, Taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when we overlay the surface rhythm of eight on this, we end up with this. Tam, ta taka jonu, tam, ta taka jonu, tam, ta taka jonu, tam. So, when we multiply 8 and 10, we get 80. But did we really need to use 80 aksharas in order for these two rhythms to resolve? I'll recite it again. So we didn't need 80 aksharas because we didn't go through 8 cycles of Kanda Chapa. Now 8 cycles of the 10 akshara cycle would give you 80 aksharas total. But what we did use was 4 cycles of Kanda Chapa, which is 10 times 4 which is 40. So 40, because you can divide 40 by 8 and by 5, is the least common multiple, because it's a lower number than 80, but it also works to divide both 8 and 5. And now, the useful thing about this is that you can either use the rhythms to figure out what the least common multiple is, or you can figure out the least common multiple, and it will tell you where the rhythms are going to align. So again, notice that I say the phrase of eight five times, and I go through the cycle four times. Tam, tataka jonu 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 tam. We can do one more example that deals with a tala cycle that is being in contrast with a surface rhythm. So let's take a surface rhythm of four against a rupaka chapa that's divided by five. So again, if each beat in rupaka chapa is divided by five, we have three beats, each one divided by five, 15 total aksharas. And this is what it looks like. This is the underlying structure. Now, when we put 
a surface rhythm of 4 over this, why don't we try to guess where it's going to line up? What's the least common multiple of 4 and 15, which is the number of aksharas in one cycle of rupakachapa that's divided into 5? 4 times 15 gets you 60. Let's just double check if there's a, a lower number. Does 30 work? Can we divide 30 by 15? Yes, we can divide it and you have 2 times 15 gets you 30. Can we divide 30 by 4? No, we can't. So 60 would have to be your answer. So in this case we do have the multiplying of 4 and 15 getting you 60, which is also the least common multiple. Let's see if the rhythm answers our question as well. So again, So, there's a few ways to understand this. Of course, we can understand it the way that we've been doing this so far, which is that you have to say the surface rhythm of 4 15 times and you have to go through the cycle of 15 akshadas four times in order to get to the least common multiple. But you can also find checkpoints along the way. Now if you notice, every four beats of the five, so each beat is divided into five, every four beats, so in Rupakachapa that means one, two, three, Four, we have a resolution. So we can look at it as three of these. So we have the same rhythm more or less, repeating three times, but because the tala has come in and we're turning our hand every third beat, we need three of these four against five cycles in order to complete the four against 15. So again, I'll recite the four against the 15. And I'll accent where the smaller structure repeats. This way, you don't have to worry about counting 15 of the fours. You can think of them in smaller chunks of five. So five fours, and it resolves to a beat another five fours, and then it resolves to another beat, and then the final set of five fours, and it resolves to the end of the cycle, and we get back to the top.